Hi, my name is Anthony Saracino, and I'm excited to kick off the Pump Jack Holiday uh, Recipe Series. We're going to be bringing you some recipes that are our favorites, so hopefully you can enjoy them at your home over the holidays as well. Um, I am originally from St. Louis. My family has had restaurants for about 50 years. Um, and I uprooted and moved out to Napa to submerge myself in wine. I'm going to be making you a wonderful short rib ragu and some homemade pappardelle noodles to go with it. And I am very excited to start and uh, get into this wonderful wine. So our first step to making this awesome sauce is going to be to add our short ribs into our hot oil. We're going to brown the meat off and we're going to put them in skin side down so that that fat really renders out and gives you the savory richness that you want out of your sauce. So right now we're waiting for our short ribs to brown, uh, some of that fat to get a little bit crispy uh, and render off into our oil that'll be the base of the sauce. Uh, the smell is really, really pungent and it's really nice. It really reminds me of being home uh, in the kitchen at the restaurant. Kind of all those, those nostalgic smells. Um, our restaurants began in the 60s. Uh, my grandpa was an immigrant and he came over and started working with some of his cousins. Ended up starting a restaurant of his own and then passing on to his children after. Uh, and this really kind of reminds me of being at home. Just seeing that the oil pot and the meat brown. It's good stuff. So we just pull our short ribs off the hot oil. Uh, they're looking wonderful. After that, we're going to throw in some garlic and some onions. We're going to let those sweat down and become tender. And then we're going to add carrots and celery. We're going to add a little bit of sweetness. We're going to saute, saute those down to become a little tender. So our next step is going to be to uh, use some of this adaptation Cabernet Sauvignon to deglaze the pan. The pan. That's going to help bring some of those meaty bits that got stuck to the bottom come into the sauce and really marry all the flavors that are going to come out of it. Um, and if you're like me, you like to taste the wine to make sure it's going to be great with dinner, I highly recommend it. So the next thing that we're going to do is going to be to add our San Marzano tomatoes and our tomato paste. After we do that, we're going to add just a little bit of water, about the same amount of tomato paste that you use. You use that same can and measure out some water, and you're going to add that to the sauce as well, just to thin, thin it out a little bit. Next, we are going to wait for the sauce to come into a low boil. And once that's uh, in a sustained, kind of slow roll, we're going to add our meat back into the sauce to really let those flavors and aromas come together and show through the tomatoes very nicely. It's always important to taste and drink along uh, with your recipe. Um, you never want to get to the end and have to do too much seasoning or anything like that. It could overpower the dish. And you always like to taste the wine to make sure the flavors are going hand in hand with one another uh, all the way throughout. So here we have two different kinds of flour. It's going to be double zero flour, which is a finer grain than your all-purpose flour. And we have semolina flour, which is an Italian flour that comes from a different kind of wheat plant. Those two flours together really make a nice, delicate, but firm noodle. We also have our eggs. That binds everything together. And make a well in our flour for our eggs. So right now we have our flour is slowly mixing in with our eggs. We're going to add just a pinch of salt. And we're going to add just a dash of olive oil. Just to kind of bring out that little, that rich flavor. And then it will also help it to bind together. So right now we are putting uh, the heavy part of the dough onto the lighter scraps on the bottom and just kneading those together so they all incorporate nice and wonderfully into a nice uh, smooth noodle. This takes probably about 10 minutes worth of kneading. Um, it's definitely the most labor intensive part of the whole process, but this is uh, what makes it special. It's the love you put into it. Um, I, I always think making homemade noodles is uh, more, more impressive, it's more authentic. Um, when we're in Italy where my grandpa's from, I don't even know what would happen if you didn't make your own noodles. Um, it's just kind of a way of life and a way of uh, thinking of doing things right and taking maybe not the shortcuts to get there. Uh, good products take a labor of love, so we're going to need it. And so when we turn it, it doesn't rip. And that means all the glutens are nice and interwoven and they're gonna be very delicate when they come out. 
All right, so next we're gonna take our dough, we're gonna work it to get it uh, flat, and then we're gonna run it through our pasta sheeter. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it thinner and thinner each time you run it through. When we get the uh, desired thickness that we want, usually about a two or three count on the little sheeter. We're gonna cut through them their bicycle and then that gives us uh, perfect noodles every time. All right, we're just gonna take a look. Okay, our sauce looks beautiful. The meat is nice and tender. Sauce is all coming together. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pull the meat out of the sauce. And I'm gonna just give it a light blend so we get all the uh, celery and carrots and garlic and onions. All that's gonna blend into the sauce with the fat from the meat. And that's all gonna come together nicely. So what I'm doing now is I'm just doing a light chop on the short ribs. Uh, we're going to put them back into the sauce and do a little light blend on them with an immersion blender. That's gonna help shred that into the nice consistency that we're looking for. Right now, I'm just making sure that none of our noodles are stuck together. Nobody wants a clumpy noodle. Um, and then right after that, these have come to a nice dry level. We're gonna walk them over to the water and uh, go from there. All right. So I've just tasted our noodles after they come out of the salted water and they're about perfect. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take them off the heat. I'm gonna Strain them off the water and then we'll mix in some of this awesome sauce to go with. So here we have our finished product. We added some fresh chopped basil and some Romano cheese to the top. It really kind of brings everything together there at the end. Uh, it's gonna pair wonderfully with this adaptation Cabernet Sauvignon. The acidity and sweetness in the tomatoes will pair wonderfully with the uh, earthy structure and the backbone in this wine that it really gets from being uh, farmed from grapes all over the valley. Um, so I'm really excited to eat this. I'm really excited to drink this. I hope you do the same. And have a wonderful holiday season. 